Okay, I want to show you how to use the Xtool RA2 Rotary Pro in Lightburn. And it's pretty easy to set up, and I will demonstrate later in this video what I'm talking about right now. First thing we want to do is go to the top and go to Laser Tools. And I'm using the Chuck, and I'm using a roll of painter's tape, and I'm using that to simulate a cup or a mug just because I don't want to waste or, or ruin a cup or a mug. Make sure rotary is enabled. Because I'm using the chuck and because it's facing outwards, I need to mirror my output. If you don't, it will print exactly upside down and backwards. And that's what it says on the screen there as well, too. Uh, you plug your rotary into the Z-axis. You set your rotary axis on chuck for 128 millimeters per rotation. My painter's tape is 98 millimeters in diameter. That auto fills this number to 307.876. And if you put a Sharpie mark on your cup or your roll of tape and line your laser up with it, you can hit this test button right here and it should rotate all the way to your Sharpie and make one complete perfect revolution. So let's look at this number here, 307.876. Go into light burn, make a rectangle, make sure that rectangle is exactly the circumference length, 307.876. You only want to make your width one or two millimeters. I made mine 50 millimeters wide because in the video later I want the laser head to drive off of the tape so you can see the mark and the way that it lines up perfectly on the rotation, which it did by the way. Okay, once you run this, you'll start at your mark, it'll come down, it'll hit your mark again, a perfect rotation, and then it'll start working its way back when you hit the frame button, and it should land again perfectly uh, on, on your mark that you made. I also want to note that I'm using starting from current position, and I'm operating from the center. Now lastly, I put the word test in here and um, again current position job origin center and take note that it says mirror output over here. So that is all we need to do and I'm going to demonstrate how this all works right now. Okay I have everything set up in light burn. I've made a rectangle that is the same circumference as this uh, roll of tape. It is 307.876 millimeters and I've put a mark with a sharpie right at the top and I've ensured that the laser fire button is landing right on that mark. And I made my rectangle 50 millimeters wide so that the um, so that the laser head will drive off of the tape and you can see the mark when it comes around one revolution. So I'm going to go ahead and hit frame and hopefully we'll be able to see the mark. And take note of where it stops. It comes back and lands exactly on that mark. And then it stops exactly on my mark again. So that's how you know that you've got your correct steps per revolution. Okay, now I have an outline. And uh, it's very important that when your chuck is facing this direction that you set your rotary to mirror the output. On light burn, I have it rotated to where the top of the word test is towards the top of the page and, and reads down. So once you mirror your output, uh, it will print correctly. If you don't mirror your output, it will print upside down and backwards. So I'm going to turn the air assist on, and I'm going to cut this at 10 speed and 35 power. And I hope I don't get any flare-ups, but I want to show how, uh, how this will mark the tape. Air assist is on, and I'm just going to frame it to see where it lands. Looks pretty centered, 
So let's go ahead and hit start and hope we don't get any flare ups. I'm going to be ready to hit stop. Okay, air assist off, and let me move the laser head out of the way, and hopefully we can see that I've got a really good test going on here. I've got a good test burn, and it's centered. You can see my mark up here. It's centered right between the E and the S, so that is how you set the rotary.